Hey, g'day mate. Alright mate. Uh, well, what the heck? Oh, should I go talk to him? Hey bro, what's going on man? You got heaps of um, SC project stickers on your back. But you don't have a pipe. What's up with that? He doesn't know. Um, oh, there's a car. Let's go, let's go, let's go. <laughs> this dude looks sick. Man, I've got a whole system at home. At my place. You can have it. It's all yours. You keen? Do you want to follow me? Awesome. G'day guys, what is up? Welcome to another episode of Motorfills. I'm Rob Hamilton and today I'm with... This is Greeny. He's, uh, he's not a random, he's actually my mate. We uh, studied music together back in the day. He was my roommate as well. We've done a lot together. Um, <laughs> this is endless really. <laughs> this is his bike, his XSR 900. How long have you had this for? Four months or so. Um, bought a brand new, didn't think I'd ever buy a bike, but... <laughs> Rob kind here of. we are, eh? Here we are. Zing, what have you done to it? Um, not much so far, just aesthetic things. The first to go was the tail tidy, or the, the original tail on the on the back. Yeah. Got rid of all the crap that was down here. What is it? What's this? Um, it is the Competition Works tail tidy kit. Um, it comes with its own indicators. Yeah. Um, but I've put my own indicators on there, the Moto Demic, uh, sorry, the Moto Gadget. Um, M blaze pin, front and rear. Um, I've also got just some some really cheap slide on um, <laughs> These bad boys. mirrors, which you know they're there. They do that. They do their job, but they're probably going to go soon. That is it. Other than that, bare bone nice. stock. Looking to get this exhaust on to to actually make it sound like a motorbike and not a lawnmower. And um, it's not an exhaust system that I've had laying around. This is actually from SE Projects Oceana. Is it Oceana? Oceana. 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 Anyway, Matt, SC Project Ocea Oceana. Cheers, bro. Thank you so much for hooking us up with this. The 70s conical silencer. Um, black. It's got this etched dais little badge in there. But yeah, so we're gonna we're gonna mount this bad boy. Onto onto that bad boy. Air fuel modifier as well. So we're gonna work out how to plug in and play all that sort of stuff. I think it will fit in nicely with the uh, what I'm going for, which is like kind of keeping it as black as possible down, yeah. down low. Yeah, for sure. Um, yeah, it'll just really sit in there snug. Um, okay, so we're gonna, I think the first thing we're gonna do is rip the exhaust off, but we'll touch base with you. The six 12 mil nuts just holding those the headers in under there. You can see it. So easy. Extension 3 8 drive ratchet. Pooh, we're in business, baby. Now green, he's on the jiggle. He's on the jiggle, baby. Now she comes. Man, look at that bloody huge thing. Look at that thing. Is that the cat there? What? I think it's just a series of muffler, like it just feeds. You must have a cat in here somewhere. Yeah. And then must loop around or not too sure. Yeah, that is enormous, hey. Mm. Yeah. See you, mate. Ah. Okay. Now, we gotta, what do you reckon? So, what we put it all together first? Yeah, I reckon put it all together, put it into position, and then tighten up from the muffle forward. So now we're gonna, so what is it? So you start from... Tighten this one up. Yeah, so... Just go through and tighten. Yeah, right, so start with the cone and then work your way forward to the engine. We've just got the, the air fuel modifier, this little guy. And so you got the airflow meter in here and this basically just, just plugs in between it. 
uh, in series. You can change the, the air fuel ratios just because the exhaust now is you know more free flowing. I want to richen up the mis mixture a little bit. So I'm just going to try to work out a way. I think I'm going to have to take these covers and everything off. Take that off. Take these bad boys out. Douche. And um, get to it behind there. And then this is going to is it just sit back here somewhere. Just easy to reach under the seat. Boop. Oh, nice. So that just goes in between that. Yeah, sick. Nice. Okay. Okay. Pretty easy. Alright, so we just put the airflow meter back in. We plug the harness in with the, with the two plugs. So we managed to get the other plug in there as well. Um, and everything seems to be nice and clear. Let me close all that off. Right there. And then that goes something like that. Alrighty, so there it is there. Look at that, eh, guys? How's this look? Looks fantastic. So the air, f uh, the air flow meter is in there. And it's all, that's the plug for it. Boop, just sitting there. Everything's all cable tied nicely. No moving parts on, on metal. Um, then it runs up all here, and then it's just all nice and tidy right there. How sick. Where are you at now? You've you've done the, the springs, or just? No, so I've done the left-hand side springs. Right. Uh, this side spring, tighten this clamp up and tighten up the headers. And then we're done. And then the top springs. And of course the tank. <laughs> no, that's fine. <laughs> just, just leave it. Just leave it. Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, here we go. Check it out. SC Project. Boom. Mounted. Um, headers all the way up. Bam. Springs are on. Happy days. Everything was pretty straightforward. Hey, it wasn't like it wasn't difficult at all. I think the biggest trouble we had was just getting this plastic thing back on. <laughs> Which was just our own stupidity. But everything's back together. Uh, the AFM module's all wired up and ready to rock and roll. Uh, that's set to zero. So that's like as stock. What do they recommend? Six? I think it was six to eight. For a full exhaust uh, system, six to eight. So we're going to try it zero first, see how it fires up, see how it sounds. And, um, and yeah, let's do it, bruh. Oh. It's never ending, eh? Uh, just, just trying to get a shot. Oh, shizer. That thing is going haywire. All right, so truck situation is sorted. There's no people, thank goodness. No cars hooning around. Uh, we've got these windows. So Greenies had the pipe on for about a week now. It's about a week since we installed it. How have you found it so far, Barbara? Bro? It's definitely loud. That uh, is good. It's, it's good, good loud. It's good loud. <laughs> Nice. I think uh, huge improvement over the over the stock. Yeah, sure. Um, got a little bit of getting used to. I think it's sexy. <laughs> he likes it. He likes it a lot. Yeah, it looks mad. Are we like we assume that it's lighter than this stock one. Um, we haven't found the specs yet of the weight on this pipe and the weight of the stock pipe. So if I do or when I do, just like write it somewhere here. So yeah, that's the that's the sound of the 70s Conic on the XSR 900s. Uh, let me know what you think. Drop a drop a line in the comments below if you're looking at purchasing this. Do it because it sounds awesome.
little playing around with the air fuel modifier. Oh, that's right, yeah. So what, what are you on with that now? Uh, it's just above four, between four and five um, on the dial. It goes zero to ten, with zero sure. being as stock. Um, and then the further up you go, the more it's playing with your air temp sensors to kind of make sure your air fuel ratio is dialed in. But I think I'm in a sweet spot now. That's good. Yeah, I did a, I did a full blown, I took it out and just gave it a squirt and it just got on the back wheel. Like, I think power is nice. Power is good. And again, thank you so much, Matt from SC Project Oceana. Hit him up, links are in the description below. He's an absolute ledge, he helped me out heaps, he helped us out heaps. Hit him up on Instagram, Instagram handle is also in the description below. Have a chat to him, he's a lovely guy. And that is it from us, thank you so much for watching guys. I hope you liked this video, if you did, please hit like, hit subscribe, and I'll see you in next week's video. Woo.